Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And honestly, I don't really know where this video is gonna go. I'm just gonna go on a cruise. So if you guys enjoy these type of chill vibes, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications. Let's go ahead and get a cold start and be on our way. Tomorrow, I will be making a trip to Hell Horse Performance in the morning uh, for an oil change. Now, now some people are gonna say, ah, you don't do your own oil changes well i actually don't have time to do it tomorrow um but i do have time to drop it off because luckily ah, i am very busy right now which i am not gonna complain about it's always a good thing Thinking about it right now, I need to actually run an errand. I need to go to Planet Ford and pick up the OEM Shelby GT350 oil filter, the spin-on filter, because you need the OEM filter with these cars. It has the torque specs on top, and you definitely do not want to mess with that. Ask me how I know. It wasn't my fault, but it's just one of those things where you need to make sure that things are done properly. So we're gonna go there right now before their parts department closes and hopefully, hopefully they have one in stock. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna have to reschedule or, you know, get something, you know, ordered ASAP. All right, we are on the road. I'm gonna let the old temp warm up. Y'all know the drill. It's getting warmer outside, so it really isn't taking as long as it used to. Shit, when it was like 30, 40, 50 degrees out, it would take like 10, 15 minutes for it to actually get to like operating temp. Or at least like safe operating temp. Oh man. Now some of you guys might be wondering, yo, why don't you just go ahead and order the oil filters like online? They're cheaper. Because the last time I went to Ford to buy a filter, I don't know if I got robbed, but like I literally needed it like that day. Um, I paid like 70 bucks for a filter. Now, online they're like 35 bucks, but I have ordered a filter online before and it came like damaged. Like it had the O-ring on it. It was like cracked. It just wasn't something that I was going to use or at least I was comfortable using. Could it have been used? Probably, but you know, I'm really not going to take that risk. So I just went to Ford and just got one for 70 bucks because I needed it that day to do an oil change. But uh, that's kind of why I just go ahead and get them from Ford now so I can actually inspect it before I walk off because, you know, wasting time waiting for things to come in the mail. Granted, it'll probably take like a couple days, but still, it's like a lot of time wasted. It's a C6 Z06 over there. That's what I need. No bullshit. Eh, actually, you know what? Mm. I'm frauding. I would definitely take one, but I feel like I'd. I feel like I'd have more fun with just modifying the shit out of a C6 uh, a base model. Honestly, even, hell, even an LS2 car, realistically, because. You know, knowing me, I would just boost it. So there really isn't that much of a difference between the LS2 and the LS3. Like when you're starting to cram like, you know, 12 pounds of boost in E85, it's like what, maybe like 50 horsepower difference. And I mean, you can make that up with uh, weight reduction. So it's just one of those things where it ain't that big of a deal, but I feel like I'd be much happier and shit, I would save literally <laughs> 50% of the cost by just going with a base model, especially if I got like an LS2 car. But LS3 is still something that uh, I'm probably looking at, to be honest with you. Like honestly, I'm gonna keep up. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. Um, 
there's like two different vehicles that I'm looking at um, to add to the stable, you know, not including um, the daily driver that I have to get, like the $2,000 like shitter Honda. Um, it's either going to be a C6 vet or, or everything works right and um, we're able to get it. What is this? Um, is that even a bus stop? It is. I'm about to say, what the fuck? As I was saying, if I'm able to get it, um, I personally want to get an S650 Mustang. I know some people are going to be complaining, like, oh, they look ugly, like, this is stupid, they're slow. Look, I'm waiting until they're unlockable. The, the ECU is unlockable. Waiting until the ECU tunable i'm telling y'all right now they are gonna be the mustang to buy i already know for a fact they're gonna be more potent than the gen 3 cars especially when you start going ahead and doing things like you know headers a tune e85 and then you know a boost because honestly oh my god bro fucking people in texas honestly that would probably be the mustang that i put a whipple on I try out that Whipple light because I know everybody likes to say that Whipple's the best. You know, you, Vortex sucks, Pro Charger sucks, ESS sucks, Whipple or nothing. But look, I'll be able to tell y'all first ten um, if that's you know if if the hype's real. You know, with that 650 because that'll be the first car I Whipple. Because honestly, I kind of want to go ahead. I know people are gonna probably you know be like, what the hell? But that S650. I kind of want to get a 10R car, I ain't going to lie, I kind of want to get a 10-speed because I've never had a 10-speed. This is why I'm driving slow right now. Look at this fucking, look at this guy right here. Can you drive? Thank you. <laughs> Celine or you know some type of Mach 1 style handling version that has a Tremec transmission and then obviously we're getting that but um that's something that I've been thinking about man for real I ain't gonna lie so that's kind of what I'm looking at man that's if everything works out which I hope it does. I'm gonna work to make sure it does happen. Cause I kinda wanna experience like a newer car. No bullshit. And I feel like the S650 would be perfect. And you know, best part about it is, let's say they do, uh, you know, not obviously you know, not next year, but uh, cause this is something I'd probably do like, probably honestly, like not this year, but like next year, just because I, I don't know when they're gonna be tunable. Um, if they don't have like a Tremec version by then, mess with the 10 speed, and then once they do drop a Tremec version, literally just trade it in, but take all the parts off. All right, so Mac, I need to take that phone call. All this traffic, man, shit. Look at this. Can you drive? Dog. I wasn't even gonna be like on this side of town <laughs> at all today, and it's like four o'clock, and this is like the absolute worst time to be on this side of town just because of all the traffic, but I need to get to the parts department right now. I think they close in like an hour. Watch they don't have this shit here. 
and I'm gonna have to be like, hey, uh, fellas, I need you to order it. <laughs> Hold on to the car for like an extra day type shit, which really wouldn't be that big of a deal, honestly. What is this? That's the one thing about Texas, though, I've noticed, man. Like, there'll be road debris, and it'll stay there for, like, weeks. So I guarantee if I come back down this road on Saturday, that will still be here. <laughs> and they just won't come pick it up. Probably because there's so many damn cars that be just out on the streets out here, man. They just don't have time to shut down a major road. It's probably what it is. So I know on the highways, and, like, a, see, you'll be lucky if road debris is picked up, you know, within five days. So here we are at Planet Ford, man. I wonder, I wonder, uh, I wonder what the interest rates are on those new Mustangs. It's probably not bad because it's a brand new fucking car, but y'all know how shit is now. I bet you it's like probably not crazy. God damn, dude, it's fucking peg. Man, look at the Raptor. Shit, that's low key what I need. <laughs> the crazy thing is that truck is probably $100,000. I probably can buy two of my cars and some for the price of that truck, which is nuts. <clears throat> Shit, bro. Trucks are no. <laughs> trucks are not affordable no more. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Like, trucks. They are not affordable no more. But this Lincoln's clean, too. Hell yeah. A few moments later. Alright, so they actually don't have it here. But they have it at another location that's like 20 minutes away. So. We're gonna go there right now. Because I need this ASAP. And I know how shipping can be. They'll say, hey, I'll be here tomorrow. But shit, I'll get here tomorrow. And it's like, hey, I'll actually be here the next day. So we better go over there right now. So I'll catch you in the car. Uh, gotta get gas first. I right, know we're about to run into some wicked traffic. What the hell is going on up here? Alright, I don't know where my car is getting so dirty from, <laughs> but Jesus, that's bad. I'm squeeze through here. Oh my gosh. Since I always hate coming to this gas station. During the shower, I ain't got no choice. Look at how I got to get in this car right now. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, dang. I had to squeeze in here like that, man. I hear so much rush hour traffic going on right now. Whew. Texas ain't playing. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Jesus. Got an unmarked trooper here too. I've seen that fool here a couple times. That dude be walking around like pistol drawn and shit, <laughs> and shit like that. I'm like, dog, it's a gas station. Oh, he pulling out. As soon as I'm pulling out, he pulling out. Come on, man. Woo. I just realized my tag is expired, too. So you think he's pulling out to go and book me for an expired tag? That'd be a bitch. That'd be crazy if he actually pulled me over for that. I'm like, man, you were at that gas station for like 20 minutes. You're going to pull me over for an expired tag.
Dude, look at 45 right now. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. One eternity later. All right, like, <laughs> 45 minutes later, dude. I'm never coming back out during rush hour traffic again. It's not worth it at all. <laughs> like, it's not worth it. it. Takes too long to get anywhere, man. hill actually is it that is it nah it's not that bad oh, shit I thought it was way worse no bullshit Whew. I'm about to see that shit bro 10 speed car I just came here for an oil filter and I'm looking at him. Ugh. I think this is a base model, I can tell by the wheels. It's an MT82 car. Yeah, you can tell by the wheels. I mean, they all got like the big brake kit for the most part, or at least they look like the big brake kit. Premium wheels, honestly, I'd get the premium for sure. I don't know if you guys can see inside, but you guys can tell like the active exhaust difference. I'd have to get the active exhaust. Hope you guys can hear. You know, we got hella wind noise from right by a highway, but. I just wanted to check these out real quick. Yeah, I'd definitely get a premium car for sure. Oh wait, no. This is a premium car in here. It just, maybe this option differently. Is this an EcoBoost? It's an EcoBoost, that's why. I was like, what the hell? So the premium EcoBoost. Yeah, premium car. I mean, the interiors look good as fuck, too. I don't know, we got a GT here as well. MT82 car, black. Honestly, I like... I'd probably get this color, even though it's an EcoBoost. Like, this color doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all, bro. Man. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. It looks good, though. We got the white, you know. That's probably what I would get, though. Real shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'd probably just play it safe and get a white car. That looks good. All right, back at the Casa. Hope you guys enjoyed the POV drive as well as going to Planet Ford to check out some of those Mustangs. Wasn't even trying to do that. I just wanted to get an old filter and dip, but man, those S650s look amazing. I'm gonna have to go ahead and see if I can make some things happen because I want one so, so bad, but at the same time, they're not tunable. And I know for a fact that I just would be sitting with a car that I seriously could not do anything with except drive, which honestly isn't a bad thing. Isn't a bad thing at all. I think if you just do headers with no tune, they pick up like 20 wheel, which is massive. At least the dark horses do. I'm not too sure about the GTs. I'm gonna start watching some POVs and some dyno videos on the GTs. Whew, actually, that's probably a really bad idea. <laughs> that's a really bad idea. Then I'm gonna go on the Ford, you know, website, start configuring a build, running some numbers. Ah. 
I can't do that right now. But if you guys enjoy, feel free, drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one, man. Deuces!